So now let's use something called the deformer fall off. So I'm going to go over here and choose a figure for this exercise. And what I'm going to do now is use a deformer of my choice. In this case, let me just use twist as an example. So I'm going to make twist the child of my figure and I'm going to uh, select my figure right here. And let's select my twist, I mean, and I'm going to go to the object. I'm going to fit it to parent. So let me just increase the angle right here. So let me just increase the angle and then rotate this just like this. All right, there you go. So now let's use something called deformer fall off. So deformer fa fall off lets you control which areas you want to deform right over here. So in that case, I'm going to go to the twist. I'm going to go to fall off, which is there in most of the deformer tools that you see over here. So I'm going to go into fall off and over here, you can see on the bottom left, there's the field options. So if I were to click and hold this, you can see that there are many field options that you can choose from. So I'm going to click on box field right over here so that a field is selected. And once the box field is selected, you can see that now I can control the box field. And as I change the size, you can see that it only, you know, the deformer is only applicable to the areas where the box is there. So if I were to drag it up, you can see that the deformer is taking place there. You drag it down, the deformer is there. There's an inner box over here as well, as you can see uh, right there, which gives the smoothness of the box itself, just like that. So go over here, you select the box, you can see that you can move this out and in, and there you go, there's the deformer, just like this. Move it out, and, and there's the deformer, just like that. So now what I'm going to do is here, you can see that there's the box field. There's also different type of fields that you can choose from. So right when you actually go over here onto the twist, you can actually select it right from over here. But now I'm going to go into the box field. You can see that there are different, uh, you can actually change it within from over here as well. So I'm going to go to the capsule field, which is rather different as you can see and i can scale this down as well so i'm going to scale this up and down as you can see so let me just uh scale this all right let me just press ctrl z because that is really scaling it down so if i were to scale it down you can see that the capsule actually scales down just like that and if i were to drag it down you can see that only those areas are deformed just like that let me select the capsule field right here you can increase and decrease the radius as you can see the bottom radius and even the height so depending on the field that you choose you get different options like this as well so just like that you can uh, work around with these and that's how you use um, a deformer field to actually work um, uh, to not uh, use uh, the deformer fall off settings so i hope you have learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe